Hey, what's going on, you guys? Am Anderson, 1979. Today is April 6, 2012. Yes, I'm officially on spring break. What? Anyways, um, let me get straight to it. Y'all know my ass is long-winded and shit. So, um, first thing I want to do is to uh, a lot of you guys who know Callie's way down. My sister, she had uh, the gastric bypass surgery. She is um, unable to upload. Wait, bump all that. She moved to Vegas, y'all. She moved to Vegas in February. So, you know, she was like my last little ally. <laughs> but she moved to Vegas or whatever back in February. And she's unable to upload from her device. Now, I don't know what's going on with her computer the whole night. And hopefully, she's getting it together so she'll be able to make you guys a video. But she wanted me to come on and give... Uh, people who are subscribed to me that are subscribed to her that has been asking about what's going on to give an update. So I will do that right now. Okay, real quick. This is Callie's Way Down um, Week 16 Post-Op Update. Her highest weight was 347. Um, in December, her surgery, she had a surgery in December. Her surgery weight was 308. And her current weight is 251. That's a total loss so far of 57 pounds. So, uh, can I get a what, what? For Callie's finest, you know, she's still doing the damn thing. She, you know, she's working out, you know, she's working it out. And um, she's losing weight um, consistently right now. And um, I don't know about, you know, all her ups and downs and things that she went through. So, hopefully... She'll get her uh, devices and shit together and she'll be able to come on and let you motherfuckers know what's good. Alright? <clears throat> so, enough with her. The bitch left me anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here in California by myself now. You know? So, that's, I've been dealing with that too. And uh, last couple weeks been kind of tough for me. You know, leading up to today. Uh, today's uh, April 6th, of course. And it's my dad's birthday. So, um... It's been really, it's been really, really tough for me. Really, really tough. I don't really want to get into it, you guys, but I'm pretty sure you guys know. It's been hard. And, um, you know, school, it is what it is. You know, I got into it with my math teacher. You know, uh, basically he was telling me that, you know, all my last ditch efforts really are meaningless. You know, and I, he told me that, um... I wasn't going to pass this class or whatever the fuck. But the thing is, is that this is halfway through the semester. That wasn't even ethical for him to even approach me in that in that way. You know, halfway through the semester. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, math is a difficult subject. And it's difficult for people to understand the lingo, the lingo of math. You know, and um, we took a test on Wednesday. And the only thing I got to say about that test, I don't have the results yet, but the proof is in the motherfucking pudding. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, he was like, well, depending on the outcome of this test, it's pretty much going to set your fate. You know, I can't hardly understand the motherfucking word he's saying in any way in class because he's fucking, he's a foreigner and shit. So I don't even understand what the fuck he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Half the time. So when I go and ask him a question about something, he tries, what, what, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, I don't even understand him. You know, so I have to go to outside sources and try to figure out what the fuck he said. But, I sh put it like this, y'all. I showed his ass. You know, I showed his ass. About my last ditch efforts. I showed him. Believe me. But when we get back to school, you know, yeah, maybe he'll be looking at, it, looking at me out of different motherfucking eyes. But, you know, one thing about me is it was instilled in me as a little girl, you know, growing up, that... Don't settle for first place loser. You know what I'm saying? Like, in order to be the best, you have to be the best. You know, you have to put everything that you have inside of you and apply that. I you set know. very high standards. You know, I start out way the fuck up here. I have a high, higher expectations for myself, you know. Second best doesn't cut it for I me. have to set the example for my child here, you know. Um, and the things that I was taught as a child are still in me to do my best at every fucking thing that I do, you know. And to do my best, I have to do better. 
You know, my dad actually told me that specifically. To do your best, you have to do better. You know, and I didn't understand what that meant. You know, until 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 recently. You know, I'm on spring break, so you know, all I can say is, you know, I'll be back tomorrow. No later than Sunday. Y'all don't see me Saturday. Y'all see me on motherfucking Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I'll come back, holla at you guys for a little bit. You know, I'm getting my little workout going on. I know. Oh, you guys want to see a body shot? Oh, fuck. Ah. Let me get up and show y'all a body shot real quick. Real quick, real quick. Real quick. Fast. Fast. These pants don't even fit no more like they used to. Look at that. Quick little body shot. I don't know how good y'all gonna be able to see it. These pants ain't really... You know, like the pants to be doing no body shot in. You know what I'm saying? Still, still I'm working on the damn thing. Still maintaining. Still handling my business the best way I know how. So, having said all that, you guys take it easy and you keep it motherfucking pushing. You know? And don't ever let nobody tell you that it's over. Because it ain't over until it's motherfucking over. You know what I'm saying? It ain't over until it's over. You know. But always put your best foot forward and you, you do what you have to do to succeed in life. You know, do what the fuck you gotta do to succeed. Only you can determine your destiny. Let me stop. All right, you guys. You guys take it easy. That was real shit, though. You guys take it easy and keep it pushing. And I always stay 100% in all that you motherfucking do. Because you know I will. I will highlight you guys this weekend with something. How about that? I'm about to go check out y'all videos and shit and probably do some video responses. I don't know. Let me see. Let's see what y'all got going on. All right, and I'm out.